back. Otsukare-sama, what did they say? I wasn't able to make the deal today. Um, they wanted... You can tell me about it later. Take a break and wipe that sweat off first. Okay, thanks. I'm Shinji Tabata, 27. I work in the sales department of a company that provides serving robots and tablets for ordering. Her name is Akimi Komagom. She's two years older than me and my boss. Her age is not that different from mine, but she's an elite employee that already has a position of section chief. She's pretty and always seems cool-headed. I'll do as she says and drink some coffee in the break room. Phew. It looks like my sweat has dried off. Doing sales in the summer is hard. Making contracts in person is unusual these days, right? Hi, Tabata. Give me a hot one. Huh? With sugar, but no milk. Not only do I act sweet, but I also like things sweet, you see. So he's going to make me make it. This is Kadoke Senpai. He works in a different department as me and is the same age as Miss Komagom. He's handsome, so he's popular with women. But I'm a bit put off by his yo kaya aura. I heard that he slept with over a hundred women in this company, but I don't know whether it's true or not. Here you go. Thanks. She's got a difficult personality since she's pretty, right? It must be hard having a boss like that. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Komagom. It must be hard being made to run around outside to meet her quota every day. But isn't that the same for every department? Komagom's highly skilled, so she expects more from the employees who work for her. I see. It's true that Miss Komagom is strict with quotas, but she never makes us do anything impossible. In fact, she always gives us things that she knows we can do. Well, I guess she is a bit strict sometimes. Haha! <laughs> you see? But she never insults us on a personal level. Thanks to Miss Komagom, I can keep working every day with motivation. Oh, I see. All of your replies are so boring. What? Did you want me to be amusing? That's not the case, but... Well, just do your best then, I guess. Yes. I enjoy working under Miss Komagom. You'll feel the same if you switch departments to the sales department, Mr. Kadoke. No thanks. While me and Mr. Kadoke were having this conversation, Miss Komagom was listening in on us from the hallway. <laughs> was he praising me? One day, I didn't have to do any work outside the office for the first time in a while. Do you have some time, Komagom? Sure. Miss Komagom was being called? I wonder what happened. The department head looked really serious. One hour later, I got the answer to my question. An emergency meeting was held in our section. The quota for our section has changed. Please, look at this. Wh what is this? Both the number of contracts and total sales being asked from us is ridiculous. Why did this happen? A deal that was going well with another department suddenly got canceled. So does that mean they're making us make up for it? Yes. Why are they making us take responsibility for this? This is impossible! That's why I talk to our higher-ups. All you guys have to do is do the regular amount of work. I just wanted to tell you guys about what was happening. Oh, I'm so relieved. I was so surprised! I heard this later on, but apparently it was Mr. Kadoke's fault the deal was cancelled. He kept having affairs with the women from the client company, and because of that, they started fighting. I'm the one he really likes! What are you saying? It's me he's serious about. Arrgh. <laughs> Please don't fight over me, girls. And just like that, they now had bigger things to deal with than the contract. Since that day, I've barely been able to see Miss Komagom in the office. Apparently, she's now also doing her job in making deals with potential clients. It's not really her job to do that as a section chief, though. Could it be that? I decided to ask her about it the next time we met. Thank you for your hard work, Miss Komagom. You too, Tabata. There's something I want to ask you. Are you trying to do all this extra work that we were made to do on your own? Mm, yes. Why are you doing it on your own? It's too much work for one person. But being part of a team means helping each other, right? Everyone's working hard, so I want to help you guys too. Miss Komagom's eyes look so tired. She must not be getting much sleep recently. All right then. Let me help you. I want to get promoted, you see. Could you help me achieve that? <laughs> Alright. We're going to get those contracts no matter what. Yes! Since then, I've been working as Miss Komagom's support. I'm even busier than I was before. But for some reason, 
I don't quite mind. And when my quota was about to be met, I met Miss Colmagom on my way back to the office. Good work, Miss Colmagom. It's so hot today. Otsukeri sama. I wish they compensated us for having to work in this heat. That sounds nice. Like a little bonus for people who had to do work outside the office on hot days. Even some ice cream would be nice. <laughs> You're right. Hmm? Miss Colmagom looks so pale. I'll buy you something another time. Miss Colmagom! Th that was close. Are you alright? Should I call you an ambulance? No, it's nothing that serious. I just felt a bit dizzy. She might have gotten a heat stroke considering the heat. There's a sports drink in my bag, right? Found it. Please drink this, Miss Colmagom. Is it alright? Of course. Sorry it's already partially consumed. But you need to stay hydrated. Please, drink it. Okay, thanks. Are you going to be returning to the office after this? I was planning on going home after this anyways, so no. But I guess I should take a break somewhere before going home. A break, huh? Even if this is Tokyo, where we are right now is pretty rural. It doesn't look like there's anywhere she'll be able to take a break. Where do you plan on going, Miss Komagom? I'll just sit down in the shade somewhere. Don't worry about me. I can't just leave you alone. Her face is getting paler and paler, but apparently she doesn't want to call the ambulance. What should I do? I guess there's only one place we can go. You can scold me all you want to after this, Miss Komagom, but if you excuse me for now... Huh? I started heading to a love hotel for the first time in my life. It's an emergency! Do you have any available rooms? Welcome. Um, what's up with the woman next to you? Sorry, but we don't allow stuff like this here. She's completely sober! And no, this isn't a crime! I'm here to save her, so hurry! Understood. Please hold for a moment. We headed to the room they showed us to. As soon as we got there, I laid Miss Comagom on the bed. I took off her suit so she would feel cooler. Excuse me, Miss Comagom? Why are you wearing stuff like this in the summer anyways? I went to a very formal place today, so I'm willing to do anything if it means increasing the chance of getting a contract. There's no point if you harm your body doing it, though. <sighs> I feel better now. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. Hold on. I came here so that she could take a break outside of the heat. But the two of us are in a love hotel right now, right? I know I had no other choice, but... No, that's not important. Just think about her health for now. I did everything I could think of that might help her, like preparing a cool towel and buying drinks. It isn't a good idea to take heat strokes lightly. I took care of her with the knowledge I had, and Miss Comagone's face started to regain its color. Thanks, Tabata. N no problem. She looks so frail right now. She's usually so strong and dependable. She normally doesn't have any flaws, which is why seeing her like this is so... Wait, am I really having these thoughts while she's currently ill? Oh, I'm so useless! That's not true! You're amazing, Miss Komagom. But you can't keep working that hard on your own. It's detrimental in the long run if you collapse because of that, after all. <laughs> You're right. I wonder how long it's been since everyone's cautioned me like that. I guess it's not that bad. Wh what are you talking about? It's so cute how she's so much softer than she is normally, but... Oh, I just remembered something! There's a game where you get the other person to say Neshu Chu slowly, right? A game? How did it go again? Oh, it's the one where you make the other person say, let's kiss, right? And then you make fun of the other person saying, ew, he asked me to kiss him. Oh, that's right. I wonder if it really sounds like that, though. Could you say it once, Tabata? What? Come on. I'd rather not. Come on! Sh she's so cute. Alright. I'm only gonna say it once, though, okay? Huh? You asked me to kiss you, right? Wow. She's so cute today. After that, it looks like she was able to relax and fall asleep. Three hours later, Miss Komagom woke up looking extremely refreshed. Mm, I slept so well! Thanks a lot, Tabata. I was going to go home after this anyways, so don't worry about it. You're always helping me after all. That reminds me, Tabata. I don't remember quite clearly what happened before I fell asleep. Did I say anything strange? Uh, nothing in particular. You were just sleeping peacefully the entire time. Really? 
It's fine if that's the case, though. She's probably gonna freak out if I tell her she kissed me. What are you smirking about? Um, nothing. We left the love hotel and went to our own homes. Ever since then, Miss Colmagalm has been on my mind. Now that I've seen her outside of work, I can't help but also feel a different way about her now. She was my only boss who I looked up to until now. But, Miss Colmagalm that day was so cute. Is something wrong? N nothing I must have been staring at her. Stop getting distracted and just focus on work first. I'll help you, Tabata. What? You'll help me? We're not going to let you get promoted before us. Thanks, everyone. All right. Why don't we show them what our section is capable of? Yeah! Thanks to everyone giving their all, we were able to meet the quota that we first thought was impossible. It was decided that we would be given awards in the next meeting, involving all the employees. We went out to celebrate today. All right, everyone. Cheers! Kenpai! We're going to be getting temporary bonuses, right? I'm so glad we did our best. This is all thanks of Mr. Kadoke, I guess. Did you hear that he resigned? What? Really? Well, it must have been difficult for him to remain in the company after making a mistake that big. <laughs> I glanced at Miss Colmagolm and saw that she was talking to some of the female employees. Miss Colmagolm is cool-headed and serious to the point of being cold, usually, which is why no one was really that close to her. But now, everyone's her fan after they found out that Miss Colmagolm was taking care of everything on her own so that we wouldn't be made to do extra work. People started talking to her, and they started to realize that she isn't as scary as she seems. I feel like a secret that only I used to know is no longer a secret. Why do I feel lonely? I see. I must be in love with Miss Colmagolm. The drinking party was over, and those who wanted to went on to the after party. Are you coming to the after party, Tabata? Um, I still haven't completely gotten rid of my exhaustion from working too much. So I kind of want to get home. I wonder whether I should go or not. Let's go, Miss Komagome. I want to drink with you more, Miss Komagome. Sorry, there's something I have to do, so I'm going to go home now. Miss Komagome is going to go home, huh? I guess I'll go home as well if she isn't going. I'm gonna go home now. See you again at the office. Okay, good night. Hi, Tabata. Oh, hi, Miss Komagom. Was the thing you had to do in this direction? Yes, actually, I'm doing that thing I have to do right now. What do you mean? The thing I had to do was to talk to you. Like you want to consult me about something? No, there's something I want to tell you. Miss Komagom stopped walking, so I stopped walking as well. This tension, could it be? I... Um, could you let me say it? I like you, Miss Komagom. At first, I only thought that you were someone with high expectations both for herself and for the people around her. But now I know that you were like that for our sakes. After seeing this new side of you, I fell in love so hard that I don't even understand it myself. I want to see the sides of you you don't usually show as well, like you did to me in the hotel. Could you go out with me? <laughs> If you're sure it's me you want, then Yoroshiku Onegashimasu. Her smile really is so wonderful. We started going out officially after that. We intended on keeping a secret from the others in the office. But before I knew it, everyone in our section already knew. According to my colleagues, it was obvious by the expression on my face. A few years after that, we're currently busy preparing for something. Preparing for a wedding is so hard. Today we're going to inspect the wedding venue. And tomorrow, we're going to try on our clothes. There's so many things we have to do. I can't bear this heat anymore, Shinji. It's hot today, huh? Let's take a shower once we get home. Together. Sure. <laughs> yes!